good morning to you out there. Welcome to the Psychologist Angie TV. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you once again for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please do so. Just hit on the subscribe button. It's free of charge. Uh, today, I want to quickly run through some more of our anti carcinogenic spices because I don't want you to miss out on this ones, you know. And uh, in the few coming weeks ahead, you might find much uh, more frequent uploads on my channel because I want to begin to prepare for the return of my students at the university. They've been home for more than six months now, and I'm sure all that we did before the break, before the compulsory uh break must have escaped them so i'd like to upload a lot more on developmental psychology to help my students when they get back to catch up on what they, must have, they may have lost yeah so like i said we're quickly going to run through the rest of our spices or some more of our spices that are anti-carcinogenic because i want you to stay healthy i want you to incorporate the spices into your your food if you're already doing so i want you to do so more consciously and not to quit. So here is the next five anti carcinogenic spices that we are going to be discussing. The first one on my list today is garlic. I have some garlic here. These are the ones I prefer using. Uh, the ones that are homegrown. They are the other bigger bulbs. Uh, that we have in the market but i feel those ones might have been genetically modified i'm not sure but i just feel more at home using this more uh locally grown garlic and i'm sure most of you are familiar with garlic as a medicinal plant but i'm going to throw more light on its medicinal properties now garlic is an allium vegetable okay and it has been proven to contain organosulfur okay and phytochemicals and also flavonoids okay which are known to be anti-carcinogenic so garlic is anti-carcinogenic it helps in uh, the repair quick repair of dna cells and also it has been proven said to have been proven to destroy uh cancer cells it also has antimicrobial microbial properties and antibacterial properties okay so it can destroy bacteria it's particularly good for uh, stomach cancers intestinal cancers colon cancers and prostate cancers least i forget this one uh garlic is also said to be anti-thrombotic that means it can prevent the formation of blood clots Okay, so these are some of the things that garlic can do for you. And there are a lot of ways to use garlic. Some people just uh, deposit some of the uh, mini bulbs, if you call them, into water, allow it to stand for a while and drink. Some do an infusion, some boil hot water, pour into it. Uh, after some while, you drain and drink. And then some people just add to their meals. I prefer to add it as spice to my meals to my uh, rice, uh, sauces, uh, pasta, and all such meals, you know, adds nice flavor to it and it's medicinal. Some people just chew garlic. Oh, if you can do that, good for you. I cannot stand the, the smell of garlic, so I, I cannot chew garlic. But if you can, why not? It's healthy, anti-carcinogenic, anti-thrombotic, you know, antimicrobial, uh, and then, you know, DNA, DNA repair and all of that. So if you can chew garlic, why not? Go ahead. Did I forget to mention that garlic actually boosts the immune system? Yes, it does that. So it can boost your immune system and do all that we already mentioned. So it's a good um, spice to add to your meals. Besides, I think it adds a nice flavor to our meals. So please begin to incorporate garlic more and more into your meals and that will help you stay healthier. On to the very next spice on our list. The next one we're going to discuss is also a very common one, ginger. Like I told you, these things are not really hard. You just have to be more conscious and deliberate about incorporating them into your meals. And I think you'll be better off for it. So today we're going to talk about ginger. This is ginger right here. Just to let you know more about it, know more about it. I know you've been using ginger, uh, but you need to use more of it and be more conscious. And maybe there are some uses that you were not aware of. Stay tuned. Yeah, so fresh ginger contains gingerol, 
and dried ginger contains zingeron. And these two uh, substances are believed to have uh, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that help prevent the growth of cancer. Ginger is particularly effective against uh, colon cancer and ovarian cancer. And in a research that was carried out in Georgia University, it was found out that ginger had the ability to shrink prostate cancer cells to from 50 to about up to 50 to 60 percent of the cells were shrunk by application of ginger. So you might want to incorporate more ginger into your diet. How do you use ginger? Me, like I said again, it's one of those spices. I use, I use a lot of spices actually. It's one of those spices I use in my stew, in my sauces, when I'm making bean pudding and lots of lots of other um, uh, foods that I make. But I also take ginger tea a lot. So some ginger and then put it in a cup and then pour hot water into it. Add some honey and take and it's an excellent tea to take. As a matter of fact, ginger and honey, ginger and lemon tea available uh, in the market packed and already prepared ones i prefer i prefer using the fresh you know ginger for this i just grate my ginger and then add it to hot water add honey and drink and also i think it helps to clear the throat when you have cold you know so usually when i have cold i like to use especially cough i like to use ginger and honey grate and mix together and stick uh, i think it helps soften the uh, make the secretion of the mucus better or faster whatever but i think it relieves cough and i use it for that as well so but then you can add to your meals and i just like the taste of ginger in fact there are these ginger sweets in the market that i usually buy as well i love the taste um uh, it's a very nice spice for your meals try it and um, you'll be the better for it As a matter of fact there are just so many of these um uh, spices available naturally available that do us a lot of good if only we use them so we are going on right now to the next on our list number three on our list today is black pepper yeah after um learning about the antioxidant properties of black pepper i actually went out to buy and use some and there are some other uses of black pepper you might want to find out but black pepper contains piperin you know a naturally occurring substance that's known to have very strong antioxidant properties. So it's a berry, it's said to be a berry. You can use this spice when you make your casserole, when you make your vegetables and, and stuff like that. And some have said it's a good alternative to table salt. Well, I think I'll try that in the future, but not yet. But so black pepper is a very nice spice that also has antioxidant properties. And the next we're going to deal with today uh, as spice number four and five actually is cilantro, cilantro leaves and coriander seeds. Actually, the cilantro plant is what uh, produces the coriander seeds. And these two have been said to contain vitamin C, calcium, potassium, iron, zinc, and it's rich in fibers and they are said to have um, good uh, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. They are said to have the capacity to rid the body of heavy metals and accumulation of heavy metals in our bodies can lead to the development of cancer. So you can see they are anti-carcinogenic and they are also good spices for your meal. Uh, you should try them. Like I said, most of the spices, if you've never used them before, when you get to the market, ask about about after them from people who sell spices and obtain them and please try to incorporate this to your diet now for good measure we are going to talk about cumin seeds today also uh cumin seeds are said to contain vitamin b vitamin e iron phosphorus and potassium and because of these things that it contains it's a very great immune booster so it helps the body fight off cancer cells by boosting the body's natural immune system to be able to fight off these cancer cells. Uh, cumin seeds have they've also been said to be effective against hypoglycemia. Uh, they have been said to have the ability to reduce uh, body sugar, uh, blood sugar levels rather. And they are also said, some research have said that they are good against asthma. 
and bronchi bronchitis yeah so you might want to incorporate cumin into your diet as well and the best way to use cumin seeds is to purchase them the seeds and then just before you add them to your diet you can grind them that's the best way to use cumin seeds now there are also lots of vegetables and um, other foods that we eat out there that are anti carcinogenic uh, that contain uh, some antioxidants uh, that have antioxidant properties as well and in the future somewhere in the future near or far I cannot tell right now by the grace of God we're going to deal with more of this healthy foods to eat a whole range of them actually and but like I said in the coming weeks you're going to hear a lot about um, developmental psychology actually and I'm going to be uploading videos probably more frequently to meet up with the demand of my students they have not come yet but I have to plan ahead and that's what I'm going to do uh, it's been a beautiful day with you here today and I hope today I'll be able to keep my promise of making the videos shorter and uh, quicker I actually want us to get absorb the information to understand why we do the things we do that's why we give details but so it's been a nice morning good to have you here please subscribe to the psychologist ng tv let us grow this channel so we can do more uh, for every one of us and please hit the like button give me a like if you like this video leave some comments let me know what you think uh, let me have suggestions of topics you may want us to discuss the theme is generally psychology, uh, um, health, lifestyle, and just I want to interact with you. Send me a message, a hello, a hi, anything we do. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching this video. Until I come your way again next week, have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead. Love you. Bye. <laughs>